This project was funded by the Office for Learning and Teaching in the priority area of technology enabled learning. And what our project attempted to do was address the long standing gap between the rhetoric um, of learning and teaching using technologies in higher education and the reality. So in a sense, what we attempted to do was look at and compare the state of the actual with the claimed or rhetorical state of the art. To achieve that, we examined the everyday practices and lived experience of staff and students who are involved in teaching and learning in higher education using technologies. So the project aimed to identify the conditions for success, for enabling technology enabled learning in higher education to be successful. There were 10 case studies which were acquired by the project brief and we, we identified five case studies from Monash University and five case studies from Griffith University as we were the project partners for, for this particular uh, work. We identified those case studies from what staff and students were saying through our data collection, through the surveys, interviews and focus groups, to find out what, was, what um, our staff and students in those two universities were saying were actually working in practice. So by, by identifying what was actually working in practice from uh, our staff and students, we were able then to work out what worked and why it worked, including the enablers and the challenges. For this project, we identified 10 really excellent case studies from the data. Um, but a really powerful uh, case study to highlight was the case study that we referred to as being authentic learning experiences enabled through technology simulations. And this occurred in the School of Medicine with medical students. The particular case study um, focus was with a, a person who had been in a traffic accident and the role of that traffic accident victim was played by a live trained person and that live trained person was also complemented by a digitally controlled high fidelity simulated mannequin. So this enabled the students and their instructors to work with the patient in a simulated setting to achieve the learning outcomes that they needed to achieve. This was a really exciting part of each case study. In this particular case study, we identified four key enablers. The first was a supportive team approach. This was really evident in the case study. The second was the learning simulation space enabled students to fail without real life consequences. This was exceptionally important and evident and I won't need to elaborate on this in terms of a traffic accident victim. And the third was the effective dimensions of learning and teaching. And the fourth was the increase in student confidence and their participation as active learners in the simulation. We don't believe this could, be, could have been achieved without the technology enabled simulation to occur. The project identified conditions for success for higher education institutions, for educators, and importantly, for learners. I'm going to highlight two of the key conditions of success for educators. So for educators, a key and very important condition for success is actively designing um, technology-enabled experiences that focus on learning, not just on teaching or other uh, peripheral matters. So the focus on learning is a human endeavour. Secondly, and it complements the first condition, is that educators must actively design their courses and learning experience, experiences to improve student engagement. Technology enabled experiences, we found, do improve engagement. And finally, my final comment about this is that never before have we had so many exciting possibilities for educators to actively design those technology enabled learning experiences and this represents a rich area for further ongoing research. Mm -hmm.